right after it was reported Prince William would attend the Diana right after it was reported Prince William would attend the Diana Legacy Award event in person on Thursday night at the Science Museum in London, where he will give a short speech and present awards to 20 recipients, Prince Harry sent email to the event saying that he also makes a video call to honor his mom. And Insider says Harry's request will still be approved because he's also Diana's son, but the organizers didn't invite or request him to send a video. The Sussexes spokesperson announced that Prince Harry, who lives in California, will then make a virtual appearance by joining a video call with the winners. However, Prince Harry's involvement will only take place once his brother has departed. While both princes are understood to be committed to supporting the award scheme, which was established to honor their late mother, their refusal to fully join forces highlights their ongoing rift. A Kensington Palace spokesman said the Prince of Wales will meet key staff and supporters of the Diana Award before joining the ceremony, where he'll hear about the recipient's work, make a short speech, and present legacy awards to this show's winners. Afterwards, William will meet with all the winners at the end of the evening. The award recipients will then receive a video call from Harry, who's expected to make a short speech and talk to the winners. It's truly astonishing that the organization is making Harry wait until his brother has left before he can start his part. Harry's move was completely intentional, as he didn't want William to appear as Diana's only son. He didn't remember the event, but at the last minute, he suddenly asked the Diana Legacy Awards to play a video of him because sources constantly reported William's appearance there. How does pulling a stunt to amplify their bad relationship help either of them? William's not giving Harry any recognition, and I'm here for it. Cutting off a toxic family member is tough, but as the public can see, the constant whining about victimhood and crying doesn't end on Harry's part. Speaking in 2021 at the same event, Prince Harry spoke fondly of his brother while telling reporters, William and I are recognizing mom's 60th birthday. Each one of us has the ability to help create a more equitable world, and the brilliant award recipients we're honoring today are proof of that. Before their feud began, the brothers met and attended the event together. Earlier today, it was claimed by Meghan's spokesperson that Prince William was envious of his brother, Harry, while they grew up, with the Duke of Sussex being incredibly popular. It's ridiculous. Well, if Diana were alive, Harry wouldn't put her on a pedestal. Harry's worship of his mother is completely manufactured. He pretends that he cares about her because he wants stardust on him. If she were alive, she would just be another one of the family telling him not to marry Meghan. He'd ignore his mother as he ignored his brother and his grandfather. Harry would have dumped his mom, same as he dumped the rest of his family.